Hi everyone. Because X had a uniform distribution here, we were able to take the straight unweighted average of these X values in order to get the expected value of X or mu, the mean of the distribution. But how is this consistent with the zigzag formula, summation X times P of X, which is the formula we're going to use in this lesson. The expected value of X is given by this formula. Well, let's apply it. We'll do the zigzag. The zigzag, remember, is this times this plus 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 this times this. So it's the first value for x, which is 1, times p of 1, which is 1, 6, plus the next x value, 2, times p of 2, which is 1, 6, plus the next value, 3, times p of 3, or 1, 6, plus 4 times 1, 6, plus 5 times 1, 6, plus 6 times 1, 6. That's, res that's the result from this zigzag. 1 times a 6, plus 2 times a 6, and so forth. You're adding these products. You're adding these products. But wait a minute. R remembering your algebra, and I hope you do, you can factor out a 1 sixth. You can factor out a 1 sixth. Factor a 1 sixth out of each of these terms, you're left with 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Well, 1 sixth times all of this can be rewritten as. One plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six, all divided by six, which is the straight average that we had over here. So the zigzag rule that I've discussed over here is consistent with the straight averaging over here. Now, bear in mind that straight averaging won't work if we have weighted, if we need to have a weighted average where the probabilities here are different and we really need to consider different weights, we'll consider that later on. 